Hello friends! I recently thrifted a vintage St. John knit skirt for $17.99, under $20. It was a little bit big for me and it was a color I didn't like and it had some small stains in it. But in this video, I'm going to show you how I got the stains out, how I shrunk it, and how I dyed it a really beautiful color. <laughs> Welcome to the Dress Up Mom. But first, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you are a regular viewer and subscriber, I absolutely love you. Thank you. If you are new to the channel and you like what you see, please subscribe. It's just the button here. I'm trying to grow the channel. It'll mean the world to me. Also, give us a thumbs up if you like this. We're on all the social media outlets, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at the Dress Up Mom, hashtag the Dress Up Mom, and you can check us out there too. So I was recently on a family trip. We would, took a little getaway to Palm Springs area and I found a vintage St. John knit skirt that I really liked. Now, I have had a lot of luck finding vintage St. John knit stuff at resale lately. I think there's a lot of it out there. I like St. John knit because it is a really nice sturdy knit. It's done so beautifully and it clings just the right way but not too tight because it's a nice, you know, kind of a heavier knit. I have a couple pieces that I have bought resale and I wear them quite a bit to work. Now, I like to kind of put newer things or make them a little bit funkier so they don't look kind of old ladyish. but I really do like the brand and have had uh, some luck finding it. This is not my first time dyeing St. John knit. Now, I tried it before and had luck with it. That's the only reason, and at that point I bought something really, really cheap and thought, hey, if it gets messed up, big deal. And that's kind of the case here too. But last time that I did it, it turned out really well. And I think you'll see that this skirt also turned out really well. So I'm going to talk you through that. Now, one of the things, like I said, it is going to shrink when you dye it. So it has to be a little bit big when you buy it. This skirt was. And if it has any stains, look at it really closely. Make sure that you can get the stains out because otherwise you're going to get weird splotching. But other than that, it really turns out super well dyeing St. John knit. I mean, who would have thunk it? This is the first time I tried doing it in my washing machine. I was kind of afraid to do that, but it turned out well too. So I'm not gonna talk anymore. I'm just gonna take you through and show you the entire process of what I used, how I did it, and then how it turned out at the end. This is everything that I used, and I'll be walking you through each of these products. I am a fan of RIT fabric dye, and I like to go and see it. I know you can buy it online, but I like to go and see all of the various colors and ways to do it. And I just go to Michael's because they seem to have a really good collection. I wanted a red color, and I was looking all around through here, so I ended up picking the scarlet color for my skirt. The first step was to try to get these stains out. There were a couple in the front as well as the one big one that I just showed you on the back. Now I had a good feeling that with my laundress products I would be able to get rid of these and sure enough I used the laundress stain solution first and the way I do that is I also have their little brush. I just love this company and all of their products. I think I have everything that they make <laughs> and you just put a little bit of water on the brush first and I got the area wet and then what I like to do is just put the stain solution right onto the wet garment as well as into the wet brush and really kind of give it a super good brisk rubbing so that you're really getting the stain out. And that's what I did both on the front part of the garment as well as on the back. And I just kept going until I really couldn't see it anymore because if you do have any stains on the garment when you dye it, it doesn't dye properly. It leaves like a mark there. So this step is super important and I would spend a good amount of time on it and use stain solution and products that you know are going to work. Like I said, I've never been disappointed with anything that I've used from the laundress. When I was finished, I could tell that both areas came out. So I was pretty confident that things were going to go well. And the next step was for me to just turn the skirt inside out and then I need to wash it. 
and I'm washing it with the wool and cashmere shampoo and putting it in there. You can see here I'm showing that all the stains are out. The skirt looks really good and ready to be nice and cleaned. Now you always do have to put everything that you are going to dye in and give it a really good washing. The garment needs to be clean and wet when you're getting ready to dye it. While the skirt was in the wash, I started prepping what I needed for the dyeing process. So I'm using vinegar. They ask for white vinegar. I love the scented vinegar that the laundress puts out. So what I needed to have is one cup of this scented vinegar. Again, you can use just regular white vinegar. Next up is one tablespoon of dishwashing detergent. Now again, because I'm a super fan of this brand, I also use their home products, so I use their dish detergent in my daily life and I love it. So I'm using it in here and just gonna put it in with the vinegar and give that a really good stir so that I'm ready when that skirt comes out to do the dyeing process in the washer. I wanna show you now, this is what my washing machine looked like before I dyed and I was very nervous to do this in my washing machine, but I thought I would give it a go because they said it was work out fine. So I'm doing it in the delicate cycle, putting my skirt in there, delicate cycle, in the warmest water you can have. You need hot water. You give your writ dyeing stuff, and I got the one that is a liquid, and you give it a super good, good shake. I decided to use the entire bottle, even though it was just one garment. Probably could have used less, but I really wanted it to be a nice, good, dark color. And you give that a good, good rinse. You put the skirt in there. I have my gloves on because it is now getting pretty, you know, yucky in there. I'm putting in that solution, and I'm just going to give the skirt a good, good soaking of all of this. I'm moving it around so that the dye gets all through the garment. The washing machine is still getting all full with the water, but you can see that it is already starting to look a really nice color. I was very hopeful. Now this needs to go for 30 minutes, so I set my timer, and what happened is I kept going back to my washing machine and making sure that it kept agitating for 30 minutes, so I kept switching it around. So here it is. Now the washing machine was looking kind of yucky. I was a little bit afraid at this point, but the skirt I thought was really a beautiful color. I was super happy with how this turned out. Now I knew it would still lighten up a tiny bit because the next step is that you wash it yet again. You wash the garment. I'm using the wool and cashmere shampoo again because it's a wool that I'm washing. And I'm gonna put it again in the delicate cycle in hot water one more time. So you can see that that's why this is shrinking up a good amount, but this is what is called for. And I'm gonna give it a really good wash and see what happens. Okie doke, here we go. Let's see the finished result and how this all turned out. Oh, really pretty. So you can see it lightened up and it's now this really pretty kind of dusty rose color. Not exactly what I was going for, but I really like it. And I'm going to just let that air dry. Now it's time to tackle this washing machine and try to get it clean. Now I was going online on the RIT site where they kind of walk you through all of this. So I'm going to do a load here in the regular cycle and I'm just going to clean it up a little bit now. Again, I'm using the laundress's surface cleaning, but any kind of like a surface cleaning machine, because the bottom of the machine was fine. It was just along the top part here. And I took these towels because what you do is you end up doing a load of wash with two towels in the washing machine. That was what I was instructed to do. So I ended up kind of cleaning it like this really, really well all along where it looked like there was some of the dye. And then I'm just popping in with some of my detergent, the two big towels that I didn't care about, kind of two old towels because I wasn't sure how they were going to use. I use Persil on a daily basis and I love it. So I just plugged that in and ran a load with the two towels and I put a little bleach in there just to make sure to get it out and get my washing machine really nice and clean because I'm a fanatic about this. 
two towels in there and let's give it a whirl and keep our fingers crossed that this washing machine turns out great at the end. Well, sure enough, at the end of the day, it was all cleaned up after that and even the towels didn't have any dye on it. So I was really happy with this and would definitely try it again, way easier than doing the tub method or the pail method where you have to agitate this yourself. And here is my dried finished skirt. This is another skirt that I have. I wanted to check the length and the size and it turned out exactly like the one I have. And I really like how I've been able to wear this. It's kind of winter time here. So I've been styling it in a winter way, but I can already see that this is going to be really fun in the spring and summer for me. And a really nice basic little short mini skirt in a great net that I can use year round. So I would call this a success. So I'm really pleased with how this turned out. Now, full disclosure, I thought it was gonna be a little bit redder. I was looking for a kind of brighter red, but this kind of rose color actually is really nice. It's a really pretty color, and it goes with way more things than I would have thought in my wardrobe. Now, I think I'm gonna even enjoy it more in the spring and summer, and I'll be showing you how I style it there. But I'm happy with this came out, and for less than $20, like all the product and everything, I think it's a, a pretty good deal. I would love to know if you have dyed St. John Knit before and what happened when you did it, or if you try it, let me know that too. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, have fun and dress it up a little.